Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Pop Elephant Gaming here and today we're playing some more Cookie Run Kingdom. So as you can see, our castle is officially level 10, so we get the item to switch and requires level 13. Yeah, uh, why would you give us access to switch at level 10 if you can't actually switch to anything until level 13? I don't know. It's stupid, but apparently we have the button. Was this always here? I'm just realizing this may have always been here. I don't think so. I don't think that was here yet. I don't know. Whatever. It's not that important. Uh, anyways, today we have a few things to do. First off, I'm just going to quickly head over to the Tropical Soda Islands because we have to... Well, oh, Lord's the thing. Cool. Uh, which is actually getting quite big now. We have a lot of stuff here, as you can see. I've been opening a lot of the areas as many as I can, so we have quite a few things to do here. We're going to do this, we're going to finish the story, and then the main goal of today is to finally and completely and fully get our first maxed cookie. So we're going to do that later. That's going to be later on today. First off, what is this? First off, we have some more of these things to do. And there is one other thing I will talk to you about earlier. Or not earlier, later. <laughs> uh, earlier would not make sense. Anyways. Dum dum. Well, what do I do? B please, just go away. I think I lost my precious necklace earlier while diving. I have to go back down there. Dum dum dum. Dum, 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 dum. Eek! It's circling around even faster now! I just made it angrier! Ugh, I'm sorry! I didn't know you were there before, so I guess he's surrounded by a shark. I didn't want to hurt you, so could you please let me go? Dum, 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 dum. Just evil, scary music. Bum, bum, bum. Why is it dumb and not bum? I thought bum was better. Maybe they don't want to use that. Whatever. Uh, tsh trebling Kakunation. Kakunushian. Still, I will never get these names right. Anyways. Wow. <laughs> okay, that was a little funny. All it means is just free loot. Then we have a bottle. Then we have the chest. It's just a lot of free loot, okay? That's the whole point of this. It's really good, though. And, man, if there's one thing they did do... You have so much gold now. Like, you really don't need gold at all anymore. I don't know why, but they clearly decided, hey, gold's not important anymore. Uh, so we do all these battles to do, we will probably do them, but first things first, is if we go to events, we have the last bit of story. So let's finish off the story first. Woohoo! Last time we saw the uh, potential leak of legendary treasures, which I still am fully convinced that that is what they intended. Anyways, how strange. My sleep powder is effective on every cookie. Except you. Are you not a cookie? So she your sleep powder and Princess Cookie's immune. Uh... Princess Cookie's a bad- I don't know, this- I guess we might find a solution. Maybe it's because we're gem. What are you talking about? Of course I'm a cookie! Princess Cookie! Did you cause this? Put everyone to sleep? Are you rescuing the villagers? What's going on? Who are you? Yeah, Princess Cookie's definitely the questioning type, I'll tell you that. Uh, another headache to deal with. I must remember to come court a more potent batch next time. Hey, are you listening to me all? Answer me, or at least- Oh, are you trying to steal back something from that- I'm stinky, Captain. I do not owe you a response. Hey, you stop! Will you just leave a fragile, delicate princess like me trapped in this cage? If you don't let me out, I'll, I'll, I'll scream! Sweltering sands, take me. What a shrill voice. Very well. Good. Let me wake up Night Cookie real quick. No, I leave the clunky one. Just you. I assisted you. Now you will assist me. To be continued. Really? That's so late! Oh, congratulations, you finished the story! To be continued! <sighs> just listen to the music for a second. I need it. I just, just, really? That was the end. After all that hype, it was just like, yeah, it, it's not a big deal. Okay, we have to return to the kingdom for something. Give me a second. Uh, it's to do with this thing right here. The Sweet Honey Jar, which if you didn't know, there recently was made an event called Honey Sweet Honey. Wait, the rewards. Where are the rewards? Um, they are somewhere in here. Uh, not Tower of Sweet K. Well, okay, just view rewards. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Um, it is somewhere here. There was some secret visitor. Here it is. Uh, bear jellies are secretly stealing honey from your friends. Get rewards for each time you find one. I've done some of these already. It's gonna take a while, because you need 25. We have five days to get it. So basically, if we look here, hopefully there is at least one to do. If you go to the friends menu- Oh, wow, a lot. If you go to the friends menu, you'll see this bear jelly icon. And then you head over there, and you have to search for their honey thing. So I recommend you just put it, like, flat and center, because I think you get a prize, too, if they find it, but I'm not quite sure. 
Uh, it's over here, so you click on it. Oh, but I'm not full yet. It leaves, and you go to the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and the next one. Probably gonna do most of these off camera, but it is actually a pretty fun game. Uh, another just random benefit to encourage friends, because originally, their gifts were really important. I'm not gonna lie, gifts have become far less important in this game, as you get ridiculous amount of gold and gems from so many other sources. But you know, this is pretty easy, and they do have some nice rewards, so I definitely recommend you do it. Um... If you don't have many friends, you can probably just leave your name in the comments. I'm sure that'll help you get some friends, or not. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately my friend list is full and has been for a while, so can't help you out there specifically. But yeah, okay, where is this one? This is bothering me. There we go. So I think that's probably it for today, but yeah. Just thought I would mention that quick event because it's cool. I think it's pretty funny. How much progress? Yeah, that was four right there. So it's pretty nice to do some decent rewards. I definitely recommend you do it. But the main goal today, as I was saying, is to get our first max cookie. So you, first of all, level 60, that's a lot of skill powder. Now, all that's left to do is the final promotion, for which we need 94 soul stones, which you may be saying, uh, that's impossible, except we have 8,873 8, mileage points. So we're gonna start with the free stuff, because if we get super lucky, we won't even have to spend gems. Okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to spend gems. Uh, but yeah, so basically, our goal is just, we need a bit more mileage points, we need roughly 500, which is not easy to get but honestly it's not that hard to get and also we just pulled an epic so if we pull licorice cookie then never mind we're completely fine so uh licorice cookie right or mango i wouldn't say no to more mangoes or herbs or pomegranates there's lots of cookies i take so who are you gonna get me come on who's it gonna be i already know it's an epic you don't have to do all this huge process to show me that chili pepper cookie okay i'm whatever it's it's probably better than nothing i'll definitely take an epic, but yeah, not that not that good for our goal for today. Realistically, though, we don't need that many mileage points. Un wow! Back-to-back -back epic cookies! Okay, that, I think, is actually pretty rare. Wow, some very good luck today. I don't actually know if I've ever gotten an epic cookie from a single draw, and then we just get two back-to-back. -back. It's a little surprising, but anyways, uh, I'll take it. Now will we get licorice cookie? Because this is the random one. This isn't the featured gotcha. We can literally get any epic cookie. It's not like we have a 90% chance to get mango or something. Pomegranate cookie, oh yeah, pomegranate cookie, great pick, great pull, I would definitely appreciate that. This is going really well so far, <laughs> not for the goal of licorice, but I mean, back-to-back -back epics is really good, especially since pomegranate cookie, at least, is a cookie I really still like, so, you know, I will definitely take more soul stones. She'll probably be the one, actually, yeah, her and her will probably be the ones that I work on powering up or promoting later. Anyways, there we go, 120 miles points already. We're getting very close. We are only 370 away, which honestly, at this rate, we very well could get from just these seven. If we pull a single rare cookie, that's pretty much all we need. We get a rare cookie, and we pretty much won. So, you know, it's gonna be pretty good. It will be interesting to see the max power of Licorice Cookie. I think I'm actually gonna see how he does on his own in an earlier stage, like in dark mode or something. We're gonna do some tests with the first max cookie. Uh, but it's, this has been in the making for a while, and it's pretty exciting to do. Obviously, I'm not sure getting to 5 stars is going to be some ridiculously, like, nonsensical journey or whatever, but I'm pretty sure it's going to make him pretty powerful. Though obviously, this in its own will probably not make that big of a difference, but we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, it's definitely going to be interesting to see what happens. And you know, if we're really lucky in near future, potentially even today, we'll also get one of, at least one of his soul stones, because then we can actually see... Uh, cause for rare, an additional soul stone is worth 15 miles points. For a common, an additional soul stone is worth, um, it is worth 6 miles points. So how much is an additional soul stone worth for an epic? Is it worth 100? Cause that would be a lot. Cause that would mean that, like, it's literally one for one. My guess is that it's probably 50. Also, this is a rare cookie pull, which unless it's like devil cookie, well actually no, I was gonna say unless it's devil cookie. I still need quite a few rares to max, but, uh, chances are this might be our last cookie draw that we need the mileage points for. Who will it be? Who will it be? You are Alchemist Cookie and you are Max, so we're done. I'm gonna do this last draw, or these last three draws, because let's face it, why wouldn't I? If we're extra lucky, we'll even get a Licorice Cookie Soul Stone. Though to be honest, it's probably better if I did this after, because I do still really want to pull a Licorice Cookie Soul Stone, so he probably still will do a 10 draw after this. Though to be fair, actually pulling a Soul Stone of him I think is like at best a 1% chance. We'll take a look in a second. If we look on normal cookie draws, probabilities, getting a soul stone for licorice cookie is a 0.631% chance. Yeah, so I'm not sure that's exactly going to happen today necessarily, but I mean, you know, 
in the near future, it'll happen eventually. We'll get a Soulstone from again, and then we'll get to see how many miles points you get for an epic, which is pretty cool. But obviously, um, we'll have to wait and see. And you know what? It won't actually be that. It probably won't be that great. At best, I'm guessing it'll be 100, because if it was more than 100, that wouldn't make any sense. Like, no sense whatsoever. Uh, but yeah. Let's keep on going, though. It is nice, though. Each of these just increasing your mileage point collection. I really am just... I'm sure some of you are just... Okay, can you just finish this so we can see the five-star cookie? I've never actually five-starred an epic before, so it's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, in fact, I think I've only actually, actually five-starred a common. I have lots of max, but I don't actually rank them up because it's usually pretty pointless. Licorice cookie! Oh, I didn't actually spend the mileage points. Is he... Please tell me he's actually in the mileage shop. I would be so sad if he wasn't. Okay, good. For a second there, I'm like, please tell me you're here. I love how it doesn't let me go to 95, because it knows that's him maxed. He's officially out of the shop. I can officially no longer purchase him, because he's a max cookie, guys. Let's look at this. The first ever max cookie on my profile. A five-star, level 60, level 60 skill, max topping licorice cookie with 145,983 power, 52,092 health. 38,672 attack, and 26,627 defense. As I was saying, the actual increase in statistics is a little sad. It's not that big. But he's maxed. We have our max cookie, and that's nutty. I'm not gonna lie. So you know what next? Next thing we're doing. Um, we're leveling up Herb to level 53. He's our next cookie to max level. As you can probably tell, it might not actually take that long. It's only skill powder. It's like the worst powder is just skill powder. How many levels can we give to Pomegranate Cookie with just these? Only one level? Okay, I'll accept that. I'll take one level. I don't know why I'm actually bothering with this. I really shouldn't. And quickly, just because why not? Let's keep doing it. Mango Cookie, you're going to go for cooldown because, of course, I want cooldown for you. Equip. Equip. Luckily, I still actually have not only five, but I actually have six epic cooldowns, so I'm just going to upgrade all these. Say goodbye to my money. Apparently, some people are saying they actually are running out of topping pieces. How? I have 2,000, and it's cut. recently I've sold, like, 2,000 of them. Doesn't make sense. You use maybe, like, 80 to actually get a max epic topping. How do you run out? Ever. Seriously. Unless you never do the blimp, which I guess some people don't. I'm probably one of the fewer that does. But still, it's a little nutty to me. By the way, in case you're curious, I'm not going to bother whatsoever with the mini buffs. I know they're actually a big deal. But I, honestly, I just can't be bothered to really worry about those mini buffs, like the other benefits. Like HP, attack, damage, resistance. These are good. I don't need them to be perfect. I don't need them to all be cooldown. I'm okay with them having a variety of buffs as well. But yeah, so this actually isn't too bad. And with our 6 million gold, nutty, once again, uh, it really shouldn't be too hard to do. And we actually should be making some pretty significant progress soon, because now that I'm Cookie Castle level 10, obviously I just upgraded my fountain. And then I'm going to be upgrading, or not upgrading, uh, buying the new cookie houses soon. That took a while. So we're going to be making some big progress in terms of leveling up soon. I, wow, seriously, stupid luck. It's a 25% chance. I did that like eight times. Uh, but anyways, we are actually getting pretty close to, wait, can I upgrade you? A little bit. 33. Enjoy. Woohoo. Um, but yeah, we are actually getting a, wait, are these promotions worth it? Let me check a look at the bonds for a second. Uh, Tiger Lily Princess, so you definitely are, because Princess is for sure at least two-star. So we actually do have some other promotions here we're doing. Just all like, hey, throw some soul stones in people's faces, it'll be fun. So yeah, at this rate, honestly, we're nearing the point where my one goal, which is still a real goal, of getting, um, getting, being able to actually have multiple cookies at level 60 and max, that's happening, for real. It's a pretty exciting thing. Um... Do we have anyone else in particular? I think we only really have epics that we can upgrade. Which none of them seem all that important as of right now. Um, I want to say we're good for now. Let me just double check quickly. Snow sugar, purple yam, poison mushroom. You two aren't worth it. Oh, epi oh rares. Rares. We probably have some rares to do. Just say goodbye to my money already. Epics aren't important for the time being. But the rares uh, most certainly will be. So we have... Angel, um, can we upgrade Pancake to 5-star? We, um, can upgrade Pancake to 5-star. See, this is the perfect time. I have 6 million gold, I'm gonna get a ton of cookies to max. It's, like, that's so much for getting one max cookie. How about we promote a bunch of cookies to, uh, I was gonna say 10-star, 5-star. Uh, who else is important? 
Do we have Cherry Bomb and Cannon Dude? At least a four star. Cherry Bomb, Cannon Dude to four star. Yeah, Cherry Bomb can go to five star, but Cannon Dude or Gumball Cannon can only go to four star currently, so we'll have to wait there for now. Though he's already on his way to five star, not that far away. It's a big deal getting the rares to four star, getting the rares to five star. All of these bond upgrades, working towards getting more mileage points for all of my epic cookies. It's going really well. This is like, I feel this a lot. I don't know why, I really shouldn't feel super all that successful doing whenever I do a video like this. Or whenever I do something like this, but it really is nice to just go through them all. Ooh, actually, we do need to upgrade Snow Sugar. Snow Sugar and Alchemist. Is Alchemist 2 star? Alchemist is 4 star. Snow Sugar, you're getting upgraded. Congratulations. This is the only reason you'll ever get upgraded. Um, but yeah, so this is, like, it feels very... It feels like you're making significant progress when you're just powering up lots of cookies. To be fair, obviously, it's quite a while in the making. It's not like, hey, you instantaneously got this. Okay, onion and blackberry. Can onion go to three or four star? Nope, not quite. Anyone else we have to look for? Uh, adventurer and blackberry, because blackberry can go to five star. Yes, and adventurer can go to five star. Two more five stars on the way. We're finishing these all off. I, realistically, now that I do have like six million gold because of all the free stuff they're giving us, I probably should just get all of these to max because like, why not at this point? It's cheap. Uh, but I'm still gonna do it the smart way because I don't care. No matter how insignificant, I'm, I mean a hundred thousand gold is still quite a bit. It's not nothing. One of those chests did give me six hundred thousand, which basically funded all of these promotions, but still. Okay, next. Anyone else? Carrot and beet. Can carrot go to five star? Carrot can go to five star. The thing is, once I'm going these to five star, this is like the last set. It's this and that's it. Though I kind of think that I should probably upgrade the common as well. I don't know if I actually upgraded beat to five star. I don't think I did. Beat. Uh, you also have to go to five star. And I think angel might as well. Did I upgrade the other one for angel? I don't know. Why does this feel like so much progress? Maybe this is- I hope this is fun for you to watch. It's honestly really fun for me to just do. Uh, who was pairing with Angel Cookie? Angel Cookie was paired with Pancake, who is 5 star. So I also have to upgrade Angel to 5 star. There we go, Angel. Congratulations. This is actually really fun, though. Like, this feels like, oh, I've been saving for, like, a thousand years. Time to get all of my cookies up to 5 star. All this progress. Bond upgrades. My cookies are going to be so much stronger. It's good. I think it will lead to some more 5 star progress soon, too. Is that it? Um, I don't think that Red Chili Pepper is 4 star. Can all three of those guys be 5 star? I don't know. Um, Princess can- yep, they all can. Princess, Knight, and Custard. You all going to 5 star as well. Congratulations. You're going to 5 star. You're going to 5 star. You're becoming a 5 star cookie. Honestly, I don't know why I'm having so much fun with this. It's just a fun moment. Like, it's a bit- there's a lot going into this. Makes me feel like I'm not behind when I actually have something maxed. It's a big deal. I mean, honestly, the 5 star bonuses are actually pretty significant. I'll take a look in a second. Um, but they actually are, like, fairly significant upgrades, getting a cookie, like, the 5 star bonds. They make a- I think it's like 300 attack or something. Which, obviously, cookies attacks are in the tens of thousands, so 300 isn't a ton. But it still matters. Like, if we look at Licorice Cookie's attack, his attack is 39,302. But if we look at this for a second, Oh, 50 defense, 120 attack. So this, the biggest one is 120 attack, which may not sound like a lot. But then you have to add up 120 plus 90, so that's 210. 210 plus 60, 270, uh, plus 30, 300. Increase of 300 attack, which is nearly a, nearly 1% of his total attack. Which may not sound like a lot, but that's a fairly significant increase when it's affecting everyone. And, you know, that's only one of many many five-star bonds at this point. One, like, we have quite a few of them, and we're just making more and more as we go. I don't think I have enough for you two. I don't think. No, you can't be ranked up, and neither can he. Okay. Actually, no, he already is. We just need five more soul stones for strawberry crate for that. Okay, so I think that's actually everything. Uh, I wasn't expecting that to take so long, because we're actually nearing the end of the video already, and it feels weird. So we do have to do at least one test, because I did promise. Why does the world exploration map look so cool? Did they change something? I don't know. Uh, we're going to the next dark mode chapter because I want to try once with only Licorice Cookie. This is probably going to be the last thing we do today because somehow we are running out of time very quickly. Don't ask me how. We are doing only Licorice. Hello, team. 
Remove. Remove. I do like that you can do this. Some games are like, no, you have to have a full party or else. Not in this game. You can use however many cookies you want, including no cookies, I believe. Actually, I don't know if that's true. Uh, I still want the good treasures, though, so I'll still give you solid treasures. I want to give you your best odds possible of not dying, which I guess for solo, for single cookie, I probably should go for a heal. Um... I guess I'll use Blind Healer Staff, sure. I mean, I'm just thinking this through. He currently has no heal. I feel like I need to give him at least some chance to regain health. So yeah, let's go for this. How well do you do, bud? Turn off auto. Licorice. <laughs> to be fair, he- Oh, that was so bad. Because he can summon his minions, so that's actually really useful. As far as cookies doing, like, on their own as a solo, he's probably one of the best cookies to solo with. Because he creates his own tanks for him and then also does insane damage. The shield, the heal is an ability, which I'm now realizing I really don't need. <laughs> Man, Licorice Cookie is still so powerful. I mean, I know this is in part simply because I'm only on Dark Mode 425. This is a pretty easy stage, but this is one cookie. One magic cookie. I'm not using a tank or anything. In fact, no ability. This is one magic cookie with no ability, with no healing, by himself, and he's destroying the stage. Like, he's barely losing any health whatsoever. I think that's pretty cool. Don't you? This is pretty impressive. It's a little boring to watch, I'm not gonna lie, but it's especially when he can Stop getting web licorice cookie. Good, finish it off. That was impressive. He did a really, really good job. I think we're nearing the point where we can go back in and storm through chapter 10. What do you guys think? I really do think that's gonna be happening, potentially even next episode or next video or whatever. So that's pretty exciting. Okay, it, there has to be an achievement for getting a max cookie, right? Upgrade six cookies to five star. Really? Oh, well, I upgraded a lot more cookies to five star. But there's nothing for upgrading an epic cookie to five star? No? It's too bad. But yeah, for the mileage shop, we will forever no longer see a licorice cookie as an option. Can't buy this item anymore. It's pretty cool. Uh, own miles points by me. Oh, right. And max down treasures. Okay. So who's next? I guess it's Herb. I can't- it's not really worth doing anything with Herb now, but Herb's probably the next cookie I go for. Yeah, that's nutty. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Please consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed, and subscribing to join the Purple Elfin Squad. It makes my day super nice, and I really do appreciate it. We're so close to a thousand subs. Just try your best. You're incredible. Uh, just quick thing, if we already had a thousand subs, um, I'm making a couple videos in advance, because I wanna have- I've decided, hey, I should probably have a little bit of a stockpile, at least like a day or so. Uh, cause I wanna take- I'm having a bit of a break week. I'm not- don't worry, there should still be, at least for the most part, uploads, but I wanna have some stockpiles so I have the option to say, hey, let's just upload a video I already have recorded and edited. So, if this is, like, hey, we're already at a thousand subs, uh, first off, just quick in advance. You're incredible. Uh, but yeah, so, that may be a bit delayed just as a heads up. So yeah, have a wonderful day, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!